Hi guys, Saturn here. Today we're going to show you how to use solve, factor and expand functions on your CAS. Solve feature is used to solve equations and inequalities. All you have to do is click menu 3 and 1. Then in the brackets, write down whatever equations or inequalities that you want to solve. For example, x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals to 0. After that, you always have to write comma and then the variable that you want to solve for. For this example, we are solving for x, so comma x. Then hit enter, it will speed out the answers for you. These are the exact values. If you want this in decimals, click control and enter. Let's try solving inequalities. Many 3 than 1. And in the bracket, let's type x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 2. You can find the inequality sign by hitting Ctrl and equal button. Choose less than for this example and don't forget to type comma x. Here's the answer for you. This feature works for any functions such as polynomial, circular, exponential and logarithm. It'll save your life during an exam. Next one is factor feature. This one is used to factorize expression. To do this, you just have to go to menu, 3 and 2. In the bracket, type expressions that you want to factorize, comma, and variable, and hit enter. For example, 2x squared plus 3x minus 5, comma, x. And here's your factorized form of the expression. Last feature that I'm going to show you today is expand function. Let's go to menu 3 and 3. Then in the bracket, write down expression that you want to expand. For example, 2 bracket x plus 3 bracket 5x squared minus 3x. And here's the answer. How many of the brackets you've got, your CAS will expand for you in one second. Solve feature is used to solve equations and inequalities. All you have to do is click Interactive, Advanced, then Solve. Then next to Equations, write down whatever equations or inequalities that you want to solve. For example, x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals 0. After that, make sure that the variable that you want to solve for is correctly stated. For this example, you're solving for x. So it's correct. Then hit enter and you'll speed out the answer for you. These are the exact values. If you want this in decimals, change standard to decimal on the bottom of your calculator, then highlight your answer and click enter. Let's try to solve inequalities. Interactive, advanced, then solve. Let's type x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 2. You can find the inequality sign in math 3. Let's choose less than sign for this example and less than 0. Here's the answer for you. This feature works for any functions such as polynomial, circular, exponential and logarithm. It'll save your life during the exam. Next one is the factor feature. This one is used to factorize expression. To do this, you just have to click Interactive, Transformation, Factor, then Factor again. In the space, type expressions that you want to factorize. For example, 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. And click OK, and here's your factorized form of the expression. Last feature that I'm going to show you today is Expand feature. Let's go to Interactive, Transformation, then Expand, and in the given space, write down expressions that you want to expand. For example, 2 bracket x plus 3 bracket 5x squared minus 3x. Then click OK. And here is our expanded form. How many of brackets you've got, your calculator will expand for you in one second. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you click the link below to check out our awesome website. And join Slack now for more study tips. Study smart, not hard with sex.